Hi, everybody. Laura here. So glad you're joining me today for the coloring fun blog hop with Waffle Flower. I'm starting with this cutie, cutie Willie and Friends stamp set. So fun. I love monkeys. You know how I love monkeys and how I always wanted a monkey. So as soon as I saw this monkey stamp set, I was like, I'm dying here. I got to have it. It's called Willie and Friends and it's so adorable. So I'm going to do a one layer wonder, which means a lot of masking. I'm not using any of the coordinating dies. I'm just going to mask and mask and mask some more. So I'm kind of lining things up, seeing where I want to go, adding the bow tie, the cute hat, the little bunch of bananas, the speech bubble. Once I kind of, you know, see the placement where I want things to go, I'll start stamping and masking. This is a little bit technical and it took a few times. Now for every good card that you see, I have about three or four or more that bomb beforehand. So you don't see the frustration, the despair, and the anger. You just see my happy side because I'm done with it already. Now all I have to do is talk about it. So first thing I stamped was the little skirt that's going on the monkey. And then I already have my masks mostly pre-cut because as I told you before, I've made about three of these that didn't work out. So I'm reusing these masks until I get the placement right. Now I'm stamping this cute hat that's gonna go on the boy monkey. So I have a boy monkey and I have a girl monkey and they're kind of like holding hands and he's got a bow tie. I, I couldn't resist all these cute little accessories that you can put on the monkey. Now this would be a whole lot easier if you didn't want to bother with all this masking and just use the coordinating dice. But if you want to do a one layer wonder, then you got to put in all this effort. And I, you know, I kind of like doing this. So we're moving on to the big images. I've got my little girl here and then I'm my speech bubble. Thank you a bunch. Now, as soon as I saw thank you a bunch, I knew I had to put the bunch of bananas and you know how I feel about monkeys, but you didn't know how I feel about bananas. And you probably don't care, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, but before I tell you about the bananas, you can see I'm just freehand cutting a little hill. And this is what I'm going to do to ink blend a little bit of sky and a little bit of grass. I'm using sea glass, a little Malibu. These are Simon's Stamp inks. And then for the grass, I'm going to use jelly bean. But let's talk about bananas now. I've always had a love affair with stickers. Even back when I was very young, I used to have the sticker books. Did you guys ever have sticker books and you collect stickers like scratch and sniff stickers, puffy stickers and all that? Yeah, I had that. And then somewhere along the line, I got into collecting banana stickers. And so my mom uh, would, you know, find unique bananas. There's, there was a time in my life when the bananas had really unique stickers, like from different places in the world, Argentina, and they had different flags and colors. And I got into it and I even had this big frame full of all these cool banana stickers. So now you know my thing about bananas and monkeys. Okay, I know I'm weird. I'm, I'm a weird person. So after I got all my masking done, got all my ink blending done, you can remove your mask and we'll move on to the coloring part. Since this is a coloring fun blog hop, yeah, I, I didn't want to really show all this masking, but I knew if I didn't show it, people would be like, how in the world did you get all those accessories on the monkeys and get this all and be one layer wonder? So I thought I better show it before I move on to the coloring. Now the coloring, I sped it up. It's just very simple, Copic coloring. You can see the marker caps. I'm starting with E30. This is for the, like, the inner parts of the monkey, which I want to be a little bit lighter. And then I'll take the E02 to add a little bit of rosy cheeks because what's a monkey? without rosy cheeks, even though I don't think monkeys have rosy cheeks at all. But I mean, in my world, monkeys have rosy cheeks. And then we'll move on to coloring the rest of the monkeys fur brown. You could do any color, really. What I did was I Googled, I tell you this, I do this all the time when I'm coloring, especially animals. I Googled monkey clip art. And that's where I get my jumping point for coloring animals. And I know it kind of seems crazy because monkeys are brown. Why do I need to Google monkey clip art? Because I'm a crazy person, and that's what I do. I like to research my images before I color them. So almost all the monkeys that came up were brown. So I went with brown, even though there's probably some gray monkeys out there, and I don't mean to discriminate because I love all monkeys, but I colored mine brown. Now, I got to tell you a monkey story. 
uh, a while ago, I did a post using, I believe it was a Simon Says Stamp baby party animals, and it had a monkey image. And I told a story about how I always had wanted a pet monkey when I was little. And my mom, she had a pet monkey when she was little. And my dad, he also had a pet monkey when he was little. So of course I wanted one and I've always been an animal lover and I never did get one. So I was kind of whining about it in my video in a joking way. And then the next day I get this package in the mail. This is so funny. I open up the package and inside was the cute little stuffed animal monkey. And it made me burst out laughing. And it was from Christina Werner. And this is how thoughtful she is. She saw my video and she sent me a pet monkey. She's like, you got to have your pet monkey. So of course I named him George after Curious George. And that's how thoughtful Christina and Jennifer McGuire and Heidi, all those girls, they're just so incredibly thoughtful. And I'm just so lucky that I get to work with such talented and generous people. So this card's finished. One layer wonder, color with my Copics. I'm moving on one more. I want to show you one more using this gorgeous Lotus stamp set, another new stamp set. So I already went ahead. I embossed the big lotus bloom in clear, as well as the stem. And now I'm using my Zig Zig Ziggies, my Zig Clean Color markers or pens, whatever, and I'm using the color pink. And I bought this pack of 25, and I really, really need to go ahead and buy a few more colors because there's so many that did not come in the set of 24 that I need in my life. So, but I went ahead and just used this pretty pink color and look how easy this is. This is so fun. I love doing it. Pardon my crazy Tina Turner hair getting in the way of the video. But basically all I do is put just a little dab of the pen coloring in the inside and then drag it out with my aqua brush. And these aqua brushes are fabulous when using these Ziggies. And I'm also, by the way, using... Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, and it works the best for me. I've tried doing this on other like cardstock, and it just doesn't seem to drag out as well. Now I add a little bit of what is that color called? Bright yellow on the inside, and then for the stem, I use light green. And I'll go ahead and stamp my sentiment. This is also from the Lotus stamp set. And then once I get that done and everything's dry, I'm going to take my teeth, my tree, my T-square ruler and chop off the right part. Now, this is exactly like what I did in this video I just made for Mama Elephant with the umbrella hanging off. I trimmed off that little bit on the right, just kind of gives a little added interest. And then I'm going to pop it up on a fog card base. I'm using some of that fun foam. And when I got done with this card, I danced a jig. You know why? Because this card looks like Debbie Hughes. Does it not look like a Debbie Hughes card? When that happens, you dance a jig. That is what you do. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your blog hop, and I will see you next time.